So it tells us that the average low temperature in Nome, Alaska in January is the rational number negative 2.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's below zero on average, negative 2.8 degrees. The, a consecutive mark, so that means in order on a number line, increase and decrease by the same amount. So when we make number lines, we can't all of a sudden be counting by twos and then start counting by fives and be like, oh, I'm gonna count by hundreds instead. You always need to count by the same thing. If you start counting by ones for all your units, all your units should be labeled with ones. If you do twos, decimals are the same thing. So what marks would we need to make to graph negative 2.8 on a number line? So the easiest way to think about this is to think about where is that decimal place, that eight. If you can't remember, you can rewind the video just a little bit and go look at that um, number line and the labels that we put on there. And so this eight is in the tenths place. So you would need everything to count by tenths to be able to mark exactly 2.8 on a number line. You could count by something bigger, but you wouldn't need to, to mark two, negative 2.8. So now it wants to know between what two consecutive integers is 2.8 located between a number line. So we are going to pull this back up and we're going to think of negative 2.8. So I can see negative 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 is right here. So then I'm looking for the whole numbers. So I can see that negative 2.8 is between two and three. And I can do that without the number line as well. If I have, whoops, I did not mean to put that there. So negative 2.8. I just need to start that over. <laughs> Let me rewrite that. Negative 2.8. I know it has to be between two and then the next biggest number is three. It's actually smaller. So between two and three. So if I come back here, I know it's between, it's not between positive. I've got to get that negative on there. Negative 2.3. So if I was wanting to graph negative 2.8 on a number line, I would plot a point blank tenths to the blank of two. So let's come back to our number line again. So blank tenths to the blank of two. Well, I know I need to go to the left, starting at two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths to the left of Two. So if you need to draw yourself a number line, please do that. Okay. Or you can even search for number lines with tenths on them and print them out if you need to. So next we have, we're going to complete the statement to describe the position of negative 2.8 to compared to zero. So let's come back and look at our zero here. So here's zero. I know negative 2.8 is still to the left because it's negative. And I have to go 2.8, so two whole units and eight tenths more. So let's take a look at what our task says. So the number 2.8 is 2.8 units to the left of zero. Okay, right, so 2.8, a distance of 2.8 to the left. The opposite of 2.8 is going to be completely on the other side of zero. So 2.8 on the other side of zero makes that 2.8 if I go in the opposite direction from zero. So the opposite of negative 2.8 will be 2.8 units to the right of zero. So the opposite of negative 2.8 is positive 2.8. Okay, now we're going to graph each of these. Remember that negatives go to the left and positives go to the right. 